Newsflash, effective leaders aren't always fun. Let's talk about that. Hi, I'm Daryl Black, and if we haven't met before, I have 30 plus years of experience in crisis leadership and a decade in corporate project management. I want leaders to make a bigger impact, grow their influence, and ultimately boost their income. And that's what I'm here to do in this Leadership Unscripted series. So effective leaders aren't always fun. And when I'm thinking about this, where does that belief come from? And I think I, I understand where it comes from. And the, the kind of thought process is, you know what? I don't want to be a taskmaster. I don't want to be mean all the time. I want to be a nice person. I don't want people to hate me. I want people to have fun. I want people to enjoy what they're doing. I want people to be fulfilled and on and on. Totally understand that. Totally understand that. Unfortunately, one of the burdens of leadership is that you can't always make all of the things I just talked about happen for everybody. I often compare leadership and being a leader to parenting. It's that fine line, right? I've got a 14-year-old dude and love him to death. And he's an amazing, amazing person by all accounts. And no, I'm not just saying that. Literally, I can drop him off for a sleepover and the parents are like, hey, we need more of your kid around our kid. So this is like third-party validation, I suppose. Um, sorry, just a bit of a uh, an aside there. But it's it's a balance, isn't it? You don't want to be battling somebody all the time. And you also realize that you get more with, with honey rather than vinegar. So you want to be personal. Well, you want to be cordial. And I've talked about that in previous episodes. So just like a parent, though, you have to establish that balance. And that balance is I am not, I'm here to be friendly. I'm here to get an outcome. And I'm here to be as... Um, good to be around as possible. But unfortunately, that doesn't mean that it is fun and games all of the time. Leadership is about making tough decisions. That's really what you're getting paid to do. With each level in the organization goes your authority and your the responsibility and the expectation to be making decisions. And often those are tougher decisions in terms of scale and scope. So you got to make some tough decisions. You have to performance manage as well. Let's face it, not everyone is a high performer on teams. No matter what kind of motivation that you've done, no matter what trickeration, no matter what, sometimes you know somebody's 100% is still really 60% of what you need. And so you have to performance manage them. And we've done episodes uh, on that with regard to are we performance managing them or are we, are they salvageable and, and we don't have to come down and go down the disciplinary path. And with that in mind too, if you get value out of this video and, and other videos, please like, subscribe, share as much as you possibly can. There's budgets to do. And if anyone that has done budgeting in the past, that's not fun. That is not fun. You're asking your team, hey, can you give me an estimate on you know certain projects coming up over the next coming year or maybe it's the weeks, depending on what that horizon is. And, and that's not fun. And if it's fun, good on you. I'm not that guy. I am not that guy. Spreadsheets, financials, all of that, I know enough to be dangerous. Um, so if you are one of the chosen few that likes numbers, hats off to you virtual tip of the hat big part of leadership is having difficult conversations and it's really difficult to have a conversation when if you think about it in your own personal life and you have friends and 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 family sometimes that's really really difficult to do especially when it doesn't jive or it doesn't for sure won't jive with your kind of paradigm or or your your model of well i need to be fun and we need to be having fun just like parenting, just like parenting. Now, does that mean that you don't have fun at work? Does that mean that you're not friendly? Does that mean that you're always worried about the tasks and go, 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 go? No, no, not at all. Not at all. And I don't have any silver bullet or even silver buckshot with regard to 
you know, how do we balance that? Because that is highly situational. It's dependent on the person, your relationship with them. It's depending on your workplace. But one thing for sure, while we aren't advocating that leadership and leaders are fun, we are absolutely advocating that effective leaders give a shit. I've talked about that before. Effective leaders listen really, really well. They care about the environment, making sure that's a supportive environment around them. It's a very positive environment. It's a respectful environment. So yeah, we're not talking about going in and, and playing games and, and uh, darts and all of those other things. But your responsibility as a leader is to strike that balance between fun and still getting the job done. Now, I would also tell you that all things being equal, if there is a scale, and this is like taskmaster and fun, tip it ever so slightly towards the fun part because people like working with people they like. And if they like being around people, if they like the environment, if it is positive, if it is respectful, but recognizing that leadership's hard, just like parenting. And it's not always about having a good time. It's about being productive and, and effective. But if you can connect with individuals and you can be personable and approachable and you care about them, then even when you have to have those difficult conversations, when you have to be making those tough decisions, you will get a bit more credibility or a bit more street cred or a bit more capital if you are more leaning on the fun side, they will do much, much better work for you. So from a selfish leadership organizational perspective, people will be much more productive if you are leaning towards that fun side. Now, again, that is not to say that you're going in and you're doing uh, cakes every day and you're having a party. Not at all. Not at all. But in terms of what that scale is, the taskmaster versus the, the fun, definitely lean more towards the fun side. And unfortunately, leadership is a balance, isn't it? It's a dichotomy. You can't do too much of one or the other. It's about finding that right balance for that circumstance. So just remember, effective leaders aren't always fun. It's not about fun and games all the time. Contrary to popular belief, you do have a job to do. You have an accountability with your organization. You have a responsibility and accountability with the team to get outcomes. And let's face it, you need a viable, healthy team. You need outcomes. Otherwise, the organization doesn't fulfill its mission and it loses its very lifeblood, whether that be the, the financial you know, profit or whether that be public support, whatever that might be. So there is a bigger picture at play here, which is why it's not all about fun and games. It's about achieving outcomes. But man, oh man, if you can tip it just a bit towards that fun side, that is going to be a much better workplace. You're going to have healthier people, less illness, all of the things that go along with a healthy well-run, well-supported team. Thanks for watching.